So, um, by the way, this is a continuation from last week's um, discussion on the AVR, the Atomega um, at, uh, Atmel processor. Uh, so we were talking about the AVR, um, the IO, GPIO, um, how do we control the registers to set the, the direction of the um, GPIO pins, et cetera. Uh, so this is a continuation from that part. Um, so the next six slides, I will talk about the timer and the counter in these processors. Um, you will find um, timer and counters in almost all the microcontrollers um, that you will use, you know, and they are useful, of course, for time-related functions, for counters, and in some cases for uh, generating uh, timer interrupts uh, or PWM waveforms. And in this case, um, this at mega 328P has three timer counter modules um, it, T0, T1, T2, or TC0, TC1, and TC2. Those are hardware counter modules. And they have slightly different function, as you can see here. Um, you can use them in different ways. Um, for example, the difference between TC0 and TC1 is the number of bits. Um, so the, you know, the granularity will be different. The scale will be different. And also you can choose different inputs um, from, um, for uh, TC2. We typically use counters and timers for counting clock cycles. Uh, if you want to generate time, uh, then or we'll measure time, that's you know, de definitely you have to use timer registers, counter registers. You can count external events using rising or falling edges and you can generate time delay, you can generate pulses and PWM waveforms, and you can also trigger interrupts. Um, this is the this internal diagram for this timer counter module. Uh, you see a few names that you will um, find out later, the TCNT and OCRN and OCA, OC and B. So those are the, these two are the um, outputs that will generate uh, when you use PWM. Um, when you generate PWM waveforms, this, this is where the outputs will be. And TCN, uh, T counter, um, and OCR, OCR, these are, and also TCR, TCR, A and B. So those are the registers related to this counter module. Um, again, you, when you deal with these microcontrollers, you are essentially programming these registers. So if there's one thing you, you, sh you should learn from this class is that if you program these microcontrollers underneath, you are really operating or programming their registers, especially these uh, special function registers. Um, TC0 is the configurable timer and, and cycle counter for with the PWM generator. So there are three registers uh, related to, to these function, um, TCNT0, uh, TCR0A, TCR0B. So if you, have, if you want to operate TC1, so you can expect this number here will be a one. And these are the IO address and load store address, depends on you know, what kind of instruction you want to use to access them, you will use, use different addresses. Um, this TCNT0 stores the count, clock cycle count. Uh, so because it's 8-bit, so we're really talking about 256 values, it's a modulo 256 counter. And TCR and um, TCCR 0A and 0B, these are you know, special, um, these are configuration registers to control the um, timer operation. For example, if you want to use the timer module, um, use it as an incrementing counter, you can set these bits to be zero, these bits to be zero, and these bits to be zero, and these bits to be 
zero zero one, and then write initial value to this t zero and t zero. Now, how do we know these bits? Then you need to um, go into the data sheet to um, um, find the configuration information um, to read the description of these registers and um, you know set the values properly. That's where you know you need to pay attention when you operate when you program this chip or a different chip. You have to refer to the data sheet uh, a lot to understand how to set these configuration bits. Uh, you may wonder, oh, we didn't have to do that using Arduino. You're right, um, because you use a lot of libraries. And those libraries underneath, they did you know, um, the hard work by setting up these individual bits in the configuration registers, control registers. And we're going to you know, talk more about that in the next few classes. Um, next thing is the clock select. Um, for this particular chip, you can use these three bits to select the clock input, um, to use no input, or do some kind of a scaling. This is called um, 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 pre-scaling. Pre-scaling um, is where we can scale down the clock. Um, you know, by scaling down, we mean we divide the frequency by a number by A, by 64, by 256, by 124. Uh, if we do that, we essentially can count for a longer duration. So I'll give example here, Arduino Uno, uh, its clock is 16 megahertz. Uh, so the duration of the clock period is 62.5 nanosecond. If we don't do any pre-scaling, the T1 counter will give you this um, you will use this as the um, clock duration, and that will give you 256 um, because your counter can count up to 260, 256 times. So this will be the clock duration times 256. That will give you 16 microseconds. Now, if you do prescaling, so you can divide the frequency by 1,000, and that means you will... Um, you know, increase the clock time by a thousand, but your um, but uh, clock period by a thousand, twenty four times. So you essentially um, will be one thousand twenty four times of this sixteen microsecond. So that will give you about sixteen point three eighty four millisecond. Okay, the next thing um, we can do with this timer is to generate PWM waveforms. And for this particular timer zero, you use uh, OC0A and OC0B, uh, those two outputs, and that's uh, connected to pin six and pin five of the chip. Um, and um, And then this is how you uh, actually access these uh, registers uh, at different addresses internally if you want to do that. Uh, let's see. For waveform generation module, um, if you want to generate PWM, you can use these several bits, which are, let me go back here, uh, actually here. So we can use these three bits, these two here, and this one here, um, to basically select how we want to generate a, a um, waveform. Um, you can, uh, this module, these modes permit fine tuning with the PWM. You can use uh, these two registers to control the duty cycle, which is often the time we, we do that. Um, when you um, do the DC motor control for the third lab, you actually have to change the um, PWM, the duty cycle to um, change the speed of the rotation. Uh, you can do a few other things. Um, you know, um, okay, so 
that was the um, a very quick introduction about the timer and counter uh, module in this uh, AVR processor. Um, with that, I will end 